Alright, if you want to install VHB on your beater, you're going to need two explicit things. Well, the first thing you're going to need is Henoku. Now, if you don't have Henoku, it's very simple. You just type in this address in your Vita's browser, click and hit install. It'll go through the whole, it'll go through everything for you, and you should see a molecule bubble on your live area. If you want a more explicit step by step guide, here's a video that will show you how to set it up. It's actually extremely simple. Now, once you, you have um, Henoku installed, you're going to need a PSP base game. Now, this PSP base game is meant to be used as a host to your VHABL bubble. Now, this PSP base game can be a full game, a demo, or a mini. As I recommend having a very small PSP game as the host. So, if you don't own any PSP games or you don't feel like buying or using any of your current PSP games, I suggest you use the Pet Saddle Club demo. This game can be easily found in the PSN store and it's free due to it being a demo, of course. So, all you do is just type it in, search it up. This is how you spell it. And uh, yeah, click download and we'll be using this as our base game. Okay, so once you have your base game installed, you're gonna open up your Molecure shell. This is where we're gonna start the FTP server by hitting select. Now this starts up an FTP server. This ad we're gonna type this address into our FTP client. Now if you're on Windows, uh, actually I'll tell you when I get to the desktop. All right, so we're heading back to our computer. Okay, so when we're back on our computer, we're gonna head over to our browser. And we're gonna be going to this link. It's in the description below. You can just copy and paste it. So copy, point. and we are gonna download this file. Which seems like it's gonna be a zip file. Close this add. Open the zip file up and have that on the side. All right. So if you're on Windows 10, 8, or 7, you you won't need an FTP client. But if you're any lower than that, you will require an FTP client, which I recommend FireZilla. But if you if you are on Windows 7, um, 8, or, or 10, you can just open up your Windows Explorer. And that, um, sorry, oh, my, my Vita turned off one second. That um, IP address the Vita gives you, you can type that in right here. So mine says FTP dot win slash slash 192.168. All right, give it a few moments to load. Back. Oh, my, my, my address changed, sorry, one second. There you go, got a dot seven. Let's give it a few moments again. Side here. All right, so you wait for the load up. So mine's took a long time because I typed in the wrong address at first. Anyways, yeah, so here's the address. Okay, so you're gonna go to your UX0 um, folder right here. Give it a few more moments. Is my internet that slow right now? Damn. So you need to upgrade. All right, so when you're here, you're gonna head down the PSP, the PSP emu folder. Okay, first thing we're gonna go to, we're gonna go to PSP, and then we're gonna head over to game. All right, because I used um, Pet Saddle Club, my game ID is here. If you use Local Roco Midnight Demo, I'll also provide the, D the ID um, in the description. Um, if you use any other game, you have to find the ID by yourself by Googling it. So anyways, my ID for my PSP base game is MPUH90024. So here it is, MPUH90024, all right? So we go, we go in that folder. And I'm gonna put this pboot in here. Give it a few seconds to transfer, or a few moments. All right, there you go, that's transferred. Next, we're gonna go back to your PSP folder. I'm gonna save data, 
I'm going to transfer this entire VHBL folder to the save data um, folder. Just give it a few seconds. All right, we're just going to drag and drop. A few moments. All right, after this is done, we're gonna head back to our PS Vita. So yeah, I'm just, I'll skip to the part where this is done. And yeah, I'll go back to my PS Vita. Well, it's done now, actually. I don't think I'm gonna skip. When we're back on our Vita, we're just gonna exit out of our molecule bubble and we're gonna just shut it off. We're gonna reboot it into safe mode. So turn off your Vita. And then to go into safe mode, it is power button, it is the power button, right stick, and the PS button. So you do that, you're gonna hold it. So you're gonna go power button, PS button, R button. Hold that for five seconds. There you go. All right, we're gonna rebuild the database right there. You can see, rebuild the database. Hit X. That doesn't ever take a few hours, in my opinion, unless you have like a thousand things on your device. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait for it to rebuild everything. <laughs> All right, here's this will take a minute. So I'm just gonna um, skip to the part where it's done rebuilding. Okay, so if you go back, once you're finished um, rebuilding, you're gonna go back to your main screen. And if you scroll down, and look to where your base game was, you're gonna see a VHBL bubble. You can open that up, see how everything goes, make sure it works. Yeah, it looks like it's working pretty well. All right, there you go. Well, we have a working VHBL bubble now. Alright, well if the video helped you in any way, please leave a like. And if you think that my content was good, subscribe because I'll be keeping you up to date weekly on PS Vita, 3DS, PS4, Xbox One, um, hacking scene news. I mean, come on, the PS Vita um, Hanaku is a brand new exploit, you probably want to stay up to date on it. Anyways, once again, I am Just the Renny, and I will be seeing you later. Peace.